system. Mm -hmm. What was it like when you went to the prison? What was mm -hmm. it? What did you learn differently from when you went to the jail? What did you learn differently from when you went to the halfway house, the rehab facility? And how did that framework help you as you were thinking about where people needed mm -hmm. to go? I believe that there are people with a little help can be put on the right track. Mm -hmm. And I also believe that there are people from whom we need protection. Mm -hmm. And I think that both of those things are true. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what political side of the spectrum, you might not agree with me. Mm -hmm. um, but I would ask and note to you that I spent 10 years Mm -hmm. You know, I was the one on the bench. I had the witnesses a couple feet away from me. Mm -hmm. I had the victims crying in front of me. Mm -hmm. I read the reports about how people started and how they wound up in front of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go every place because, you know, if I was going to take someone's liberty, I wanted to know not just in an abstract way, mm -hmm where I was sending them. Mm -hmm. And then, um, like one thing that people don't consider is that when you're sentencing someone, one thing you can do is that, you know, if you think of prison is, you know, your state institution mm -hmm. where you can be sent anywhere in the state. Mm -hmm. Whereas jail is more your, your county mm -hmm. institution, right? Mm -hmm. So like <clears throat> some options that you have, you can send someone to prison or you can put them on probation mm -hmm. and have jail as a condition of the probation. Mm. Do you see what it- To keep them local. To, to keep, keep them local, okay. to get their attention. Mm -hmm. Lots of different reasons, mm -hmm. right? But you have to know what the institutions are. Mm -hmm. And then very importantly, when I went to the community-based corrections facility, the biggest thing I realized was that largely what they were trying to do was teach people what I had parents and experiences to teach me. Hmm. So say, for example, um, I played t-ball. Mm -hmm. And in t-ball, I learned that when you get frustrated, you can't hit somebody upside the head with a bat, mm -hmm. right? But everyone didn't grow up like me. Hmm. And there are some people that grew up in an environment where how you resolve conflict mm -hmm. is to hit somebody upside the head with a bat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how they come to, that's what they know. Mm -hmm. That's what they have seen. Mm -hmm. And so we have institutions that can help with that. Mm -hmm. and, and I was, I'm always encouraged by that mm -hmm. because it's that side where I think with the right yeah. help, you know, we could put that person that learned as a small child you know, some, some bad things, mm -hmm. maybe change their thinking mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't even make it to prison, mm -hmm. hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.